What's good, everybody? This is crazy right here. Uh, Juanita Gomez, um, a woman that was nearing her 50s, has recently been arrested for the murder of her daughter. And Geneva, the reason that she took her out was because she said she was possessed by the devil. And the way she took her out was slamming a crucifix down her throat and choking her to death. This is interesting because, um, you know, when we talk about religion and different things of this sort, we talk about overzealous people. and We talk about the average Christian or average Muslim person. And then we talk about extremists. So in this case, I would have to say that this woman was an absolute extremist. If you examine all movies and all documentation that talks about doing uh, rituals to basically release these evil spirits from a person's body. None of it has ever been violence. We've never seen a priest slam a crucifix down someone's throat or stab someone with a crucifix. It's more an instance where a woman's confused, I would say. I feel that Juanita was confused about her spiritual essence and became something else because she allowed her own demons to defeat her in a more calm and a naturalistic manner. She was herself was screaming her daughter was possessed, but her actions and her mindset showed that she was the actual one possessed. And I say this because you got to be very careful because sometimes you'll be led to think something that's not true about someone that you may care about or something and it will overwhelm you. And then you find out the truth and it's too late because your words or your actions deviated the plan. So part of what I'm saying in this situation, her 33 year old daughter is now dead because she assumed that she was possessed instead of getting, if not professional individuals to deal with the possession, she herself felt that forcing a crucifix down her throat would cure her. I don't even know a movie where that worked. I don't I'm not understanding what the whole essence behind that was, but she has just destroyed her life as far as her daughter. And now she's damned her faith because her faith was revolved around a situation like this. And now that someone she loves is gone, her actions has preceded everything that she actually was. So she's become something that she's never want to become. And unless she she really preys on it and I mean, just really soul searches herself. She's not really going to recover from that because now life's lost from an ideology that she instilled and pushed. So it's a very detrimental thing. She's at a point where most individuals lose their faith for good, but you know, I just pray that she's able to bounce back from this situation, being that she took faith that serious. And I'm not really sure the content her daughter was saying or whether the possession was sensible, whether she recorded it. But it just could be more to the story. We just don't know. But it's pretty crazy that this mother just took her own daughter's life off of the assumption that she was possessed in a spiritual essence. And there was no professional outlook or nothing. What's your thoughts on this type of thing? All rights reserved.